Hey y'all, welcome to GoFundMe. GoFundMe is home to thousands of different fundraisers for so many different and important causes, which means your fundraiser will be right at home. Sage here from the customer success team, and in this video, I'll cover common questions about running a GoFundMe fundraiser. So let's dive right in. GoFundMe is a crowdfunding service that allows people to come together and donate to a cause that they care about. To crowdfund on GoFundMe, you'll create a public fundraiser page and share the fundraiser link with your friends, your family, and your larger communities. By using GoFundMe, you'll have access to a trusted crowdfunding platform, a robust safety infrastructure to keep you and your donors safe, an easy one-stop place to run your fundraiser, and access to fundraiser success materials and our care team for support. There is no fee to start and manage your GoFundMe fundraiser. Once you start receiving donations, one small transaction fee is automatically deducted from each donation. Transaction fees vary slightly by country, so check out our pricing page for your specific details. Donors also have the option to leave a voluntary tip for GoFundMe. Tipping is always optional, and the tip amount can be changed to zero. GoFundMe sends funds through electronic transfers to personal and business bank accounts. Fundraiser organizers will provide personal details and banking information so that funds are sent to the right place. If you're raising funds for someone else, you can add them as a beneficiary and they can set up transfers. There is no minimum or maximum time for running your fundraiser and GoFundMe won't set a deadline for you to reach your goal. You'll also be able to collect all of the funds you receive regardless of whether or not you met your goal. It can take two to 10 business days for funds to be transferred from the GoFundMe fundraiser to your bank account. The key to success is sharing your fundraiser. While your fundraising page is public, sharing it with your friends, your family, and communities is how people will learn about it. You can share over text and email, via social media, and you can even print out QR code flyers. We've put together lots of tips for sharing your fundraiser successfully. Check them out here. Hopefully, this information has made you more confident about starting your fundraiser. Just click on the Start a Fundraiser button to take the next step. If you have any questions, our team is always here to help. You can reach our support team from the GoFundMe Help Center, as well as access great resources to make the most of your fundraiser.